for those of you that don't know, Salecom is our uh, software that we kind of do the first round of design in. Uh, so this is where we take all the boat dimensions and then uh, turn it into something that you can see in 3D, mock up the sails, and then we go into fine tuning the shape from here. Okay, so here I've got the sail plan for the J44. So here you've got a Genoa staysail. That's the sail inside here. This is the forestay masthead on here. And I've got a flying jib rigged out here. Now the flying jib, uh, I pretended as if this is kind of a fractionally rigged boat. And this would be something that looks like uh, what you would have if you were trying to make a flying jib to the PHRF rule locally. Now, what I was talking about with the tack is that you can move it around. If I go and change the tack set, you'll see we move it down. You know, if you're in, in breeze, you want to consolidate that sail plan, bring it in. The sail comes down and you consolidate everything a little bit, makes it a bit more stable. And then the opposite, if you're in light air, you can move it up a little bit. Also helps you with your sheeting angle. You see, if we draw a line from about where the spinnaker blocks are and go up, that's a really top sheeting angle and Really, you would want to see this be somewhere down here. Right. So let's move away from the flying jib and we'll take a look at the LRH. So you can take a look at the size difference in these and see kind of what the difference is here and why you get an extra three second hit. So that Overlap, if you consider that the LP of a, a head sail would be almost 180%. Uh, probably a little bit exaggerated, but this is a very popular setup, uh, especially lately in the last couple of uh, Chicago Mac races. Um, you know, light air up there, and they take it and they actually use it tweaker to bring the clue inside the boat more. Uh, you see, we've got a really nice lead shape. We can match the main and a little bit different than the code zero. And I'll put that on top so you can see the difference. So that's the code zero. And I, I, I hope this helps where you can see the difference in how the leech looks and how it's going to sheet. So I can actually take this here and let me change the sheeting angle. So right now my sheeting angle is 30 degrees. So let me bring it in a little bit more as if we trimmed in. And you can see the left sag lured a little bit. And you can see the leech now has a return on it. So the leech is starting to go back into the mainsail. So that's what happens when you're trying to sail this at a very uh, low apparent wind angle. 